instead of writing a prompt for AI to create a video that basically has no soul and is totally taking away the power from the artist, I just decided to write a prompt for myself and create that video as a self-assignment and do this monthly. In fact, I just filmed a little vignette of my brother producing music for our friend Devin. And it's the first of 12 self-assignments that I'm gonna give myself this year. And the goal of these self-assignments is actually to, at the end of the year, be able to say I have 10 to 12 solid projects that I'm proud of and that really symbolize the kind of stuff that I wanna be creating in the future. It was a very simple project to create, but there were a couple things I kept in mind that may be helpful to you, so let's get into it. Now, first things first, this whole project was kind of centered around the Super Takamar 28 millimeter 3.5. And this lens is a lens I've had for a while, but I haven't shot a ton of stuff with it. So I wanted to just get some reps in with that lens, see how it flares, do different things like that. Honestly, test the lens more than anything. But it actually ended up giving the project a lot more character. And I think that was pretty helpful because we're in an all white room and it just, it needed all the help that it could get. So having a lens that produced a lot of character was super beneficial. But this was also one of the first times I actually got to use my new small HD monitor. I got the Indy 5. And there's something about having a solid monitor for your camera that just I think I've overlooked for way too long. Honestly, I've always focused on just getting a cheap monitor so I could just view and have like focus speaking. But once I started using small HD monitors, I realized that they are just incredibly beneficial. Not only am I able to put in whatever light I want, but I can also use EL Zone to expose. If you don't know what EL Zone is, I'm not gonna try and explain it. It's just a fancy version of false color, but you could watch this video from my friend, Cindy Dailies to understand EL Zone. Now, all of this was shot on the Fuji X-H2S, which is what I shoot all my passion projects on. And I love this camera because while it's not necessarily just a standout like best camera in the world there's really nothing that i can say bad about it and it's a solid camera that i just trust like when i pick it up i know i create a good image with it and it's not going to have any hiccups now when it comes to the actual filming of this project i kept one thing in mind throughout the whole thing and that was the 180 degree rule now if you're not familiar with the 180 degree rule it's basically taking a top-down view of your room and making sure that you don't cross this 180 degree line. So you get all your shots from one half of that room. And this really helps me because all the windows were primarily on the other side of this 180 degree line. So it was actually really easy to stay on the other side of the 180 degree line and shoot shadow side for the majority of the project. Now we do have a warm source that is actually on our side of the 180 degree line, but I think it just kind of added a little ambiance to it. If I had really thought through it i might have moved it to the other side but i kind of just liked this little warm light here and that's another thing that i want to talk about with this project because there's actually no artificial light being used at all and i think it's pretty easy at least for me as a filmmaker to think that man i gotta just light this room and make it look perfect and i have to add lights so that it will look good but the reality is is like this is a very simple scene and while i could have added some lights that would probably have enhanced the look of this I don't think it was super necessary. But lastly, I wanna to just touch on the color grading of this project as well. Since November, I've been using Filmbox because they did this like Black Friday special where you could get their quarterly subscription for like $3 or something like that. So I purchased Scatter and Filmbox to have for three months. And uh, as at the point I'm making this video, I'm actually having to cancel that because I don't wanna pay the very substantial quarterly subscription price. But I can honestly say I've loved all three months of using this program. It makes color grading and getting a film look like stupid easy. It's like three or four clicks and it looks like film. And so if you wanna get the film look and you don't wanna put a ton of effort into it, you just wanna have a repeatable look, I would check out Filmbox. Here are all the settings I used on Filmbox to achieve this look if you wanna recreate it yourself. I believe my camera was set at 5200 Kelvin and I was playing around with the aperture to dial in exposure. And the last element of this video is the voiceover. Now, when I first started filmmaking, I would just make a video that might be similar to this. I'd throw some music on it and I'd send it off. But 
I don't think that that really encapsulates a full story. Like it just leaves a lot to the imagination. And so I wanted to add a voiceover to this project to really, I guess, just drive home the intention of the images that you're seeing. And with this voiceover, I took a very introspective uh, approach to it because I'm posting this on my YouTube channel. So I just felt like it had the context of coming from me, but being about someone else. I think I could totally rephrase this voiceover to be more ambiguous and not centered around like me and my relationship with my brother and his creativity. But I felt like it was kind of a cool thing to do. So I just went with that. So I guess my point in breaking down this project, but also making these projects in general is to hopefully encourage you to start doing some self assignments of your own. Like this project was incredibly easy for me to execute. It didn't take any little external lighting. It didn't take any fancy like camera movement equipment. It was just me and my camera walking around the room and capturing a story. And I think that that is something that, you know, as filmmakers, we, we need to kind of like realize is that like the passion project that we want to make doesn't always have to be this huge spec ad that is just a giant scale and is going to be your big break. The passion project you want to make doesn't have to be the same quality as a Hollywood movie, but if it gets you out there creating things and making things that you care about, then I think it's worth doing. And that's kind of the intention of these self assignments for me. Uh, but I will say I need some help from you because I want to know if you prefer these videos to be posted like separately, you know, where you can watch the video one week and then the next week I post the breakdown, or if you prefer for me to post them as like one video, or I even thought about posting like the actual short or self assignment on like a Friday, which would be like an off day for me. And then the breakdown that next Monday. So that it doesn't take up a Monday upload. Let me know in the comments what you would prefer. But anyways, okay. Bye.